will be earning God's tokens on the weekend events. And there's a new claim page, a new part of the claim page just for the weekend events. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll pull it up. So you go to the website, go to God's tokens claim. Same thing as the blessings of God. But now we have a weekend rank tab and all that information is right there. And you'll be able to start claiming those seven days after every weekend ranked so we'll be earning god's tokens along with the nfts there's some changes to the armor mechanic happening and a bunch of cards are getting changed in the divine order set but we haven't looked at it yet lauren i'm about to check it out here after this match i just found it they are making the armor change it looks like we are back with another ptr test this time through the armor mechanic with armor 2.0, anytime an armored creature takes damage that reduces its health, it will also lose one armor. So it actually has to do damage to the creature, has to lose health to lose that one armor. Yeah, just saying they're just trying to avoid the toxic uh, board states, but here's where we want to get real crazy. So, Smith's Hammer. It was five mana... It's after you attack with this relic, give one plus armor to each friendly creature. So they decreased it to only four mana. So that may see some more play. The Plate Pilferer, which is a deception card. Which I don't think was seeing a lot of play. But now that they've decreased this to three mana, this is going to see play. Because this is a three mana blitz creature in Deception where they don't really have much blitz at all. So it also snatches armor and steals armor. So this thing could really get out of hand at three mana coming out pretty early with some of those Deception buff cards. Let's see, the Venerable Paladin, well, the stats were increased and the check, the text was changed. The stats are no longer 2-2, two, two, but to a 2-3. And then the regular way is getting changed to Armor 1 Frontline Afterlife. Give this creature's armor to your strongest creature. So before it was your weakest creature, now it's going to give it to your strongest creature. That is probably going to see some more play, and especially it having three health now instead of just two. So the Looting Squire, they're changing from 3-1 to 3-2. They're giving them a little bit more health. The Armadillo Familiar doing here, they're changing it from a 2-1 to a 2-2. Two, two. So that actually kind of makes this a little bit more playable now that it's 2-2 we might see some more armadillos out there the bronze oh my god what did they do to this bronze gate they increased it it says bronze gate from a 2-3 to a 2-4 oh lord magic decks magic structure decks the day has came with the bronze gate having four health that puts it out of target range of blight bombs and canopy barrages a lot of spells that just easily remove the bronze gate so now the bronze gate is going to have four health with armor that is amazing i love that change oh no what did they do what did they do to the aspect of pangolin oh no now it was just give three armor to a friendly friendly random creature so now it is going to a three mana card. It's going to go from three armor to two armor. Okay, so they didn't actually make it better. I think they kind of... I mean, it's about the same card. It's one mana less and one armor less. That's pretty much it. So I don't think that's going to really change much with that card. It, maybe it makes it better because it is three mana. The three mana might make it more appealing to run. It's cheaper. Let's see the spiny porcupine. He is getting... He's going from a oh lord he's going from a 1-1 one, one to a 2-3 and his text is getting changed to armor one. Oh, so he's losing the four armor though that changes that whole card so it's a four mana with two three and one arm so no more of that crazy stupid super porcupine deck the grand vault stats increase changed from three three to three four basically the same change that grand uh or that uh bronze gate got grand vault is getting putting it out of that blight bomb range and now cadmos this is they're changing a legendary and cadmos has seen some play but not quite as much 
he is going from a 2-4 to a 3-4. So I think that makes him better. He's already playable, but that extra attack is not too bad. I think that's all right there. That, that may bring a little bit more value to him being a legendary because he's one of the legendaries that's not performed very well out of the divine order set and then heart of bronze this is this is incredible so right now it's just give one armor to each of your creatures the change is going to be give one armor and plus one strength to each of your creatures what do you guys think auto include in every war deck now i mean how do you not run that what what are you what are you exactly talking about oh aspect of pangolin oh i see what you're saying so Lauren, thank you for pointing that out. With the aspect of Pangolin, this is a very subtle change that I didn't even notice. It was a random friendly creature. Now you get to choose one of your creatures. Yeah, aspect of Pangolin is actually better. It's it's definitely better. Being able to choose is incredible. Good good point out, Lauren. Thank you. Whew. Some of these are fire. The Pan Forge Master. I think this is a death card. Yeah, here he is. He's going from a 3-3 three, three to a 4-3, so he's going to have more attack. Oh, they're changing my guardians. Oops, I spelled guardian wrong. Don't y'all judge me. What are we changing here? Oh, and I skipped over the animated armory. I'll go back to that one in a second. Text is being changed to spell boost 1 at the start of your turn. Set this creature's armor equal to your total spell boost. The start of your turn. Is that better or worse? I think that's better. Um, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. I think it makes, I think it makes the guardian a little more aggressive. Because if the armor is only on during your turn, because it's at the start of your turn, it'll help you know with attacking but if it doesn't have any armor at all when it's your opponent's turn then this thing could be easily killed so it kind of almost glass cannon type deal maybe for the for the guardian of whatever just have to see how that plays out how that actually is going to work in game it's animated armor re that did get better it was after you summon a limpian or mystic creature raise its armor one but now it is they did take the back line off, but it's armor one after you summon a creature, raise its armor one. So it's any creature now that you summon is going to gain one armor with that armory. So that's nice for light decks. That's definitely an improvement. I don't like that it lost the back line, but that's that specification or Olymp of Olympian or Mystic didn't really do too much for it. Let's see what else. The Miasmic Forge. That's one of my favorite death cards. What are they doing to that? So it's still backline. After you summon a creature, give it one plus armor. And at the start of your turn, deal one damage. Before it dealt two damage. And with a lot of the death effects dealing two damage every turn it was kind of a steep cost for this so now that it only does one damage yeah that's definitely better that's definitely better for the forge there's going to be some interesting decks starting to come out of death with armor or more armor let's see blood armor here is getting changed it is going to be give each of your creatures plus one armor for each creature given armor this way deal two damage to your god before it only do it to one creature now you can give it to multiple creatures for one mana but it's going to cost two damage for each one of those creatures that gets armor and then it looks like they put the giant pangolin back the way it originally was giant pangolin is changed to armor two blitz and confused yep so they put him back to armor two some cards got way better some cards getting a little bit of a nerf probably but we'll see this is going to definitely change the meta some with these armor changes